Hey everyone, Sean here, and welcome to this video. This will be one of those like uh, vloggy type of uh, videos for this time around. More specifically, this is going to be a channel update of sorts, just to want to, you know, make a little checkpoint, see how you guys been doing, and let you guys know how I've been doing for the most part. And yeah, just gonna be rambling and all that stuff um, relating to the channel. So, I mean, where to begin? I mean, first off. Uh, this is the beginning of my first ever, like, sort of two-week vacation from my part-time job, which, um, I've been working at FedEx for just about a year now. I just, I started back in, uh, beginning of July of last year, so marking my first work anniversary. So, uh, that's been, you know, it's, it's, um, not so bad, uh, overall. I mean, taking everything into account. Um, it has been going through uh, quite a rough patch, which um, I'm definitely not going to go over here because it's uh, quite uh, not so complicating, but all, it's just like a little just serious enough to where it's kind of like hard to explain without like, you know what I mean, going over that or stepping on that line. Um, but it was pretty pretty bad uh involving with the management um we're okay nothing like bad happened anything like that to us specifically but like when it comes to a lot of the management a lot of the managers that we knew um they're like out of the picture unfortunately so um because stuff happened but base but ba but but anyways uh basically We've been trying to adjust ever since, and um, that's been pretty rough. A lot of like, you know, try this, try that, this didn't work, this kind of worked, but not really. And then it seems to have smoothed out for the most part, but we'll see. I mean, uh, we definitely need more people, <clears throat> and yeah, <laughs> all that stuff. So there has been times where you know, there's not enough staff, and uh, things could, things can get rough. But overall, it's a pretty um, <clears throat> tolerable job in comparison to a lot of the jobs that um, I've heard, or at least I've experienced myself. Um, you know, I would say this is like overall like a little better than uh, Amazon that I used to do, anyway. And yeah, I mean, um, you know, who knows where this goes, you know, for me. Uh, we'll see if I uh, stay there for another five years and like I did with uh, Amazon and, you know, where, where life takes me from there. <clears throat> but, um, you know, that whole situation back last year was kind of like crazy to like look back on because basically like... It's just so weird for Amazon because, um, uh, for those who don't know, I was let go back in June after working five years for whatever reason. Um, and technically, this was, uh, this is what kind of makes it crazy. And I don't know if I, uh, put or, um, mentioned this in my last channel update kind of video was that. The what you call the um, the actual date that I was let go was back in April. That's what I was told. But for whatever reason, I was never contacted. I was no no email, no nothing. So um, for that much longer, right? Because I found out in June, I was like trying to look for sh uh, shifts, whatever. Um, some things popped up here and there, but like the times were just not lining up with my schedule. So it's like, it's like one of those jobs where you have to like grab shifts and they just weren't giving enough, giving enough shifts for everyone. But yeah, I mean, we, you know, because we weren't working enough hours, I guess people were let go, you know, um, left and right and all that stuff. And, uh, I, I. I definitely was not immune to that, of course. So, um, but the fact that I wasn't even like informed that I was let go back that at that time is just like, okay, like why was this a thing? Why did this even happen like that? 
it was such a weird fashion. Like I, I like literally like walked into the facility, asked the managers like, hey, like I need help, man. Like I don't know what's going on, blah blah blah, and they don't know what's going on, blah blah blah. blah. And so I had to contact HR, and then HR told me like, oh, you're let go back in this day or whatever, or on this date or whatever. I'm like, what? You know, it was so weird when that happened. I just was just so bewildered by it. Right. You know, unbeknownst to me, I was let go, and I'm and I'm uh, I'm de uh, can definitely uh, assume, you know, with confidence that, you know, people around uh, people of my stature were also let go as well. Probably around that same time too, if not like throughout the throughout the months or even before. Because I've I've seen people I've seen people being let go and stuff like people were <clears throat> telling me stuff and and all that when I was working at the time. So you know it it it, it was like um, getting like tougher and tougher back and like by by the later half of 2022. But then when 23 was around, like yeah, it was like pretty tough, you know. Um. It definitely was tougher than ever, but yeah, such a weird way to go out on, right? When it came to Amazon, it was just like, um, it was it was just so uneventful, or um, but eventful at the same time, obviously, because like you know, losing a being let go is like a pretty significant thing, because that's like your job, that's your income, that's you know, some some uh something like very important like gone you know what i mean a job but um during the time of course over the course uh, over the course of that time when i was um i guess being strung along you know but it was so weird because even if i was technically let go i was still getting shifts on my thing on my apple whatever so it was very strange anyway so i was let go and then the very like the day after, literally, I got a response from FedEx, and then I met there with the uh, one of the old managers, and then the rest is history. So, I've been working for a year. Um, there has been some changes. You know, people went, people people have gone, uh, have gone, um, come and went. So, um, I took over somebody's spot already. <laughs> so like, um, so I'm doing what they were doing. And um, it's quite, it was so it has been quite the uh, the history already just in that one year span. But you know it's just something I can tolerate, and it's a nice um, you know steady flow of uh, income. So uh, I've been uh, doing pretty good for myself in the, in the situation I I am in right now. So you know having to just deal with that, especially it's just like man. It's uh, it's something to look back on, I guess. But it's like, it's also like sour, souring, I guess you could say. Leaves a sour taste in your in your mouth when you've been working for this like company for like five years and you don't even like get much out of it, if if not anything, other than of course just the money you work for. You know, that's how I kind of just felt. I mean, along the way, I was doing uh, freelance stuff as well. And nowadays, though, it's pretty tough, you know. Um, I'm a video editor. I used to um, pretty much, like, do it more actively with clients and stuff like that. Um, I even worked with uh, Pandem Global at some point. But, man, um, Pandem Global had their th situation, and then that went kaput. It's just so weird, man. It's like uh, it's like one of those things. Like you, uh, every time I think I have an opportunity, it just kind of somehow like just goes poof or something, man. So, yeah, that that stuff is uh definitely rough to deal with at times. But I, you know, try to move forward and see what else is in store for me. So it, you know, this is um kind of like that for right now until I find something or maybe something uh that kind of gets dropped at my f doorstep or whatever you know hypothetically speak or metaphorically speaking but anyway I've, I've been i've been chugging along you know in real life so i'm still here i'm still here to 
be able to do the things that I like to do, which is to make videos for my channel and just like run a YouTube channel as a hobby and stuff like that and still get something out of it, you know? So, for those who have been still watching my content, um, I know it's not like a whole lot of people, which I'm definitely okay with, um, or just like whatever about it. Um, I do appreciate it, man. I do, I do appreciate the support. I still have like around 20k subscribers, which I that's like that was my peak, and then it's just been pretty stagnant ever since. Um, so I I'm I'm still grateful for that, you know, to even like achieve that much. But of course, there's always room for more. So you know, it definitely would be nice if uh, something will break through, right? You know, but. Anyways, that's uh, kind of what's been what was been happening through with my uh, real life stuff, you know. So, uh, at least for about a year now, I've been having a nice steady flow of incomes. Unlike you know Amazon and you know what I mean, like it's just a part time job, right? So, <clears throat> which is um, you know pretty nice. Yeah, not so bad. And yeah, I mean, like even with uh, a par with part time hours, I have a t uh, I have this uh, two week vacation, that's pretty much happening now, and you know, um, uh, I mean, then again, I ha I ha hardly took days off, so it all kind of adds up anyway. But just even like being able to do that is just nice. Um, when it comes to like Evo, uh, it's funny because I did take this vacation is right around Evo time. I'm definitely not going for this time around just because like I am still sort of like uncomfortable dealing with like, um, so sort of this like pandemic aftershock kind of thing. Uh, basically I'm not comfortable going to like a convention where there's like a lot of people, you know, and especially it doesn't help with like the places like um, Anime Expo being like stuffed and so um, seeing like the numbers when it comes to the carbon dioxide levels and it's just like oh man that's I mean let's be real it's been like that for years right even before the pandemic even when I went which is back in like 14 or 15 2014 2015-ish I think it might have been 12 or 13 I don't know so around those around those times some somewhere sometime before the first half of the decade somewhere okay and yeah man just seeing stuff like that definitely still makes me feel quite uncomfortable so um i'm that i'm definitely okay to sit back still to like kind of see um i have some people i know going to evo so it'll be like a good like yardstick to like know like hey like you know it's this crowded or whatever and then it's not like you know um it's not like any like new game is coming out nowadays you know because we already have street fighter out uh street fighter 6 out we already have Tekken 8 out and then you know strive is like well well in the uh its life cycle uh i don't think it really isn't. I mean, I guess I guess two XKO could be a debut for next year if I do plan to go, but I don't think it'll be like that big. But I, I could be definitely be wrong on that. We'll see. Um, we'll have to see about how that game performs. But anyway, um, next year will pro could possibly be uh, the time for me to come back to Evo. We'll see. Um, it really, it really depends on well, my hours, you know, my vacation hours too, whether I'm like comfortable at the time. So, and if I have anyone to go with or not, you know what I mean. So I definitely don't want to go by myself. That's like my personal thing. Um, I rather go with at least somebody. <laughs> so we'll find, we'll figure that out, I guess, and uh, we'll we'll uh, go from there. But no. Evo 2024 is not for me. I'm not going. Um, TLDR on that part. Now when it comes to, I guess, uh, the games I've been playing, you know, the one of the main subject, subjects of this channel. It definitely has been lesser 
over the recent years because of what's been happening. Like, I've been looking, I, I was looking for a job and then I found, you know, this was FedEx. And then um, having to do the job, right? So I'm obviously, you know, out and not, you know, what I'm used to be doing, used to be doing. Uh, I, I, I was so used to like, the whole flex schedule thing and not to mention the freelance life you know having to work from home work with people or work with clients a lot of times and then work with uh, especially with Panda Global you know um, I was like very comfortable with that but then stuff happened obviously again and then yeah so um, I've had less time to play you know the major games and even with something like uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, you know, um, I like stopped at Chapter 11. I have not pick, picked it back up since, unfortunately. Not that I don't like the game or anything like that. I, I do like the game. It's just that I've been having the, ha such a hard time to like muster up the energy nor have the time, right? Even if I did have the energy um, to play, sit down and play the game. You know, there's other things to consume other things for me to get distracted by and there are just times where I was just like dead tired like um, you know especially from the rough, rough patch of um, FedEx like and I, I don't and I, I, I don't know if uh, it'll get any better but I don't know we'll see for, for a while but um I've come, always come from home tired and so I'm like even too tired to do game and chill right like um, so I actually have been just like, I don't know, either just like take a nap or something or like do something else. Um, but although funny enough, like I've been playing a lot of the Hoyo games, like, you know, I've, I've been playing Genshin, I've been, uh, playing Star Rail over the course. And then, uh, now recently I've been, uh, playing Zenless Zone Zero and I actually have been having, uh, more fun than I expected. Um, there's just a lot of like negativity even before the game came out because of the closed betas. Now, those that being said, those same negatives do still carry over to here, but I'm actually having fun with the good stuff, the good things about the game, the aesthetics, right? The sort of art direction, the story is all right. Um, for right now, it's like a, I feel like it's a slow burner, but it'll definitely pick up, I'm sure. Because they already, like, dropped the lore stuff, like, in the trailers and stuff like that. That you don't really get to find in the game. Which is kind of weird, but that's how they work. Um, but yeah, it's available on YouTube anyway. And then, you know, um, the combat is, like, very basic. But it's, like, it, it has its moments. And those moments are, are, are enough for me to play the game for that much longer. So, um... Zenless Zone definitely is going to be probably another Hoyo game that I am going to try to uh, play on a consistent basis. And whenever there is downtime, I'll hopefully somewhere in this vacation time, I will pick um, Final Fantasy back up and then just get it over with. You know, just like I, I, I'm, I'm, I have been thinking about just playing on easy mode just to like get through the story. Like, I don't even care at this point. Like, I, I just want to get to the story. And I've already played the game, like, on normal difficulty. You know, in, in this first half or whatever, quote-unquote. So, I definitely, um... Yeah, at this point, I, I'm like... I just want to blast through it. And try to enjoy the story as, as much as I can. Um, just, just to really get out of the way. And then, hopefully, <clears throat> by that time... I get around to go play something like Dragon's Dogma 2 or um, Yakuza 8 uh, Infinite Wealth. So uh, that's uh, that's also been something I really want to get back into as well. I, I like the Like a Dragon series or slash formerly known as the Yakuza series. Uh, so that's like what's been on my radar. And then later, later, later down the line for this year, it's the Sonic um, and Shadow Generations. Uh, remake or whatever you call it <clears throat> so i do want to play that as well it's been really, you know looking pretty promising looking pretty cool you know it's the year of shadow essentially because of well that game and then you have um the movie right sonic 3 i definitely want to go watch that in theaters 
Um, which speaking of which, uh, back kind of kind of going back on my real life thing, um, there are actually times. I mean, I went, um, you know, like as a way for me to like slowly transition back into like the the social life, quote unquote, kind of thing. You know, after the, the with the whole pandemic aftershock. Um, I actually have been, uh, going to the movie theater again, but only twice, I mean, this year, I think, um, but basically I watched, um, uh, whatchamacall, um, uh, Godzilla Kong, right, and then last year, or like, yeah, like December of last year, I went ahead and watched, uh, Godzilla Minus Ones, you know, as you kind of saw with the movie, th uh, movie years, <clears throat> So yeah, that's how I've been able to catch those movies in the first place. I mean, it has to be, it really has to be a, like the movie I'm like really willing to go watch, which is like at this point Godzilla movies and then like a really enticing maybe Marvel movie maybe if it looks really cool, but um I think though uh Wolverine and Deadpool could be a possible one for me to um watch in the theaters as well. But well, the, the catch is, is that I watch it after work, which is like well into the night. And I do try to go watch it on the Monday. So like, or Monday or Tuesday, depending on what time I get off. So um, I use that time um, or use that opportunity to go catch those movies, you know, without having to deal with the crowd too much. That's how I've been sort of like trying to slowly transition back into that sort of life. But, uh, yeah, um, I, I, and also, um, I mean, it's been a much more enjoyable theater experience just because, like, you have less people talking and then, you know, uh, so therefore I can, like, enjoy the movie a little more, you know, like, kids obnoxiously, like, going up and down the stairs or crying or, more people like sipping their drinks and eating popcorn and like that. You know, it's all we're all like scattered in the theater. You know, and I'm like on the top or whatever elsewhere in the seats. So I I've been enjoying that <clears throat> personally. So um, that's been how I've been consuming the movies when it comes to theaters and stuff like that. It's go late at night, <laughs> pretty much go do the last show time, and then that's pretty much it. At least for me. So, um, so yeah, basically, that's how I've been consuming those movies. So, anyway, uh, the games have been a little scatterbrained, let, let's just call it that, much less active than before, I would consider. Um, you know, but that's like the, kind of the adult life, right? The average adult life, anyway, where you can't, it's harder to, uh, sit down and consume. Um, like JR long JRPGs and then like be able to enjoy other stuff at the same time and like I want to get back into drawing so bad but like it, it, all those like other media to consume is just like keeping them away from it and I'm just like man I want to draw these characters from Zenless Zone but I don't have the time you know and then, you know and then even if I do have the time I'm like tired or whatever from like I said work and all that stuff and just like real life stuff stuff as well to keep me distracted you know what I mean so that's just kind of how life my life has been when it comes to that as well um, yeah so my hobbies has just been have been getting rocked <laughs> my interests and stuff like that has been getting rocked to hell but yeah um, and then, uh, whatchamacall, um, what, what, what else should I talk about for this? Um, it's, yeah, it's just been hard for me to, like, do all the things I used to do, you know, which sounds about, like, a lot of people's lives <laughs> at this point. Um, but what, 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 what you gonna call? um... I guess I can go ahead and talk about the direction of this channel just to get out of the way. It's been kind of like in the back of my mind. Uh, so obviously the games have been shifting around. So you see more like Hoyo games right now on this channel, which obviously it's not for everyone. I, I know that, but that's just what I've been playing. That's why I've, I've been putting that on the channel. So that's just kind of how it goes. 
I know there are people who are still out there wanting to see, like, you know, we have fun videos and stuff like that, but that's just out of the picture because we're all busy, we're adults, we've grown up essentially, and we're dealing, we're all dealing with adult lives. So, you know, trying to, like, you know, um, well, get another job or some different, different job or something, or just deal with the, the economy, the economy for right now, man, it's been, it's been tough, you know, a lot of my friends are still living with their families, including myself, so it's like, you know, that's just kind of like the, the life right now, for, for the, uh, the millennials, you know, at least, uh, in one part anyway, but, um, let me see, uh, but yeah, so, yeah, so for right now, I am playing the Hoyo games, and that's uh, what it's going to be for a while. Um, I would like to get back into game reviews as well when it comes to other games. Like I said, like I want to get back into playing Rebirth at one point. I want to pick up uh, Infinite Wealth, pick up Dragon's Dogma 2, and hopefully I can pick up um, Sonic uh, and Shadow... So uh, yeah, Sonic and Shadow Generations, right? Later on, later on this year. So that is hopefully going to be what's happening uh, throughout this time for the rest of this year, you know. Um, and then we um, are pretty much like, yeah, like trying to. I'm trying to like, like line up the words, but anyway. <clears throat> The plan, the plan for this channel also, I, if you guys haven't noticed, is that I, I've um, had one of my other interests like kind of revived, which is a uh, car detailing. I've always liked to wash cars, and you know, I, you know, and you've seen for the old school people anyway, there were some car videos in this channel at one point, especially when I had like the the exhaust videos, right? sports exhaust or whatever but i always like to actually wash cars for those who don't know weird right but at one point i got tired of it i was like you know especially with the lexus because like the paint the clear coat was starting to go i i just neglected it because it was just like i don't know it was just hard at one point and i got distracted with other stuff right with gaming and like college at that point and then back when i when i went to college and so it was just like really difficult uh, and all that stuff. And then I just like, I guess, made the mistake of like using a car cover over and over again without cleaning it. It's really like car covers are just re actually really there for like long term instead of like just like taking it off, putting it back on every single day or whatever. Um, you're pretty much putting a cover on if you're like out for like a week or something on your vacation. You know, if you're, like, going to Hawaii or something, or, or Japan, or whatever the fuck. And then you have um, a car sitting in your garage, and you want to keep it dust-free or whatever. So, you you know, they don't want to do that. But when you're, like, taking it off and on every day, you're, like, scratching it and all that stuff. Especially with the dirt that you're introducing to the cover, and then the cover keeps that dirt and then dust. And then that dust and dirt get uh, hit over and over again. You're, like... Put it on and back on, put it back on. So obviously that motion will scratch up your car like one way or the other. And then, yeah, like I said, the clear coat started to go. So I'm like, yeah, what's the point? I gave up on it. So that's why I had a pause on car detailing. But once I bought this spray wax, or not spray wax, this uh, spray coating uh, from Turtle Wax. Um, I bought it f uh, when I got the Corolla, right, the new car. Which that of itself was a, was a story. <laughs> so, um, I got that spray, and it was like, wow, it's so easy to put on this durable protection, unlike the wax and stuff like that. That's why I hate it also. Waxing sucked. As much as I did it, it sucked. But this, this spray made it so easy. I'm like, this is really stupid easy, you know? And, uh, I, I was, I, I was like watching, um, uh, comparison videos like oh yeah which one's better like this spray wax or spray sealant or this one and then i came across these channels 
that that were about guard, card detailing. I never thought actually until that time, which was like October 2023, that there are like there is like a big, pretty well. Let's just say strong community when it comes to like those interests. Like I actually never thought that people would make videos about card detailing for some reason. But at this point, I should be surprised. I mean, th hell, there's like videos about house projects, so and tools, right? Rio, Rio B versus Milwaukee, or um, uh, what's another brand? Um, Dewalt, right? You know, so on and so forth. There, there, anything you can think of at this point, there is a, you, there are YouTube ch channels for them, pretty much. Hell, there's probably, um, uh, well, home projects, yeah, so painting, right, like paints, right, house paints and all that stuff. I'm sure there's a community for that, specifically. Anyway, so, I came across these channels, right, these car detailing channels, especially with a like pen, the organizer, Eddie Colomb, blah, 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 you know, you name it, Jamie the Cleaner, you name it. And so, uh, especially with pen, and then there's Ivan LaCroix. They were introduced. They I was introduced to the concept of Renzo's wash. I'm like, what the hell is this? And it looks so easy. I'm like, why didn't I know about this before? If only I knew. And so I picked up all the stuff. A lot of it along the way. Detailing car that I made for myself. Um polishes, the one step polish. It's stupid easy. Um, a lot of things nowadays are stupid easy. And at one point, I was introduced to ceramic coating. I'm like, what the hell? Like, what what did I miss? <laughs> you know, after all these years. And so, like, um, I missed out on all this stuff. Like, it's not like, it's not FOMO or anything, because they're still around. It's not like they're exclusive or anything like that. But anyway, um, it don't it only got better, I guess. So like when I came in, uh, um, the ceramic coating, the what do you call it, everything else, like rinses washing, like uh, already was already getting better, you know. So it's only gonna get better from here. And so I have all this like rinses wash, I have all this like other sprays, I have a detail keg and everything, uh, pressure washer, you can kind of name it, man. I even have like a water softener tank. I had a little water DI tank. It's crazy, dude. It's so crazy up to this point. I spent so much money. Thankfully, thank God I have that job, right? So it's like, I, I, um, man, getting all that stuff is like pretty satisfying and, and to use them, of course. So I have like a foamer thing, foaming spray thing for the tires and wheels. I have this, I have the, another sprayer, it's like the IK, the IK foam sprayer, like pro, whatever the hell. It's like two gallons or whatever. It's that big, you know. It's pretty pretty big, and then you can like go around spraying your car with it. It's like I never thought there were so many tools to wash your car, and they're all so, they're all so cool to use, and um, it's so satisfying to see the car all like sh uh, clean and shiny and stuff. So, um, and of course, one car is enough, so I'm like being wash trying to wash my sister's car, my mom's car, and then even my neighbor's car at one point. I got paid for that. I'm like, wow, you know, people actually pay pretty good money for it, but it's understandable why, because it takes a pretty long time. It takes like a good two hours just to really get it clean, right? If you really want to go that extra mile, so yeah, there's quite a, quite a lot of that going on, as you can tell on this channel, but. There, it, it will be stagnant at one point, so that means I can like go back into like gaming or like drawing or something, right? I can go back to something. Uh, so part of the direction will be gaming and also car detailing as well, but also with the reviews. Like you know, when it comes to reviews, I've been really trying to um do the top ten uh 2023 games that's been on my list. Like it's been super on the back burner for a long time. I know it's like late at this point, but I just want to get out of the way just for getting it, getting it out of the way. But doing a top 10 2024 games, that's kind of like out, out of the window at this point because I've been playing way less games. 
It's just gonna be Hoyo games and just like a couple of other games. That's it's not gonna be a great list, but I don't know. I might, maybe I'll make something out of it. Um, but anyway, um, when it comes to reviews, though, it's mostly more on like movies and also like the stuff I've been watching, like The Boys. Right? I've been loving The Boys ever since I first watched it back when, and um, you know, during the pandemic especially, and then. <laughs> Um, like, who would have thought, like, Amazon of all places would have, like, this, uh, really good series, right? Anyway, um, I think that will be definitely more, uh, a thing as well. You know, more of that stuff I watch. Uh, so that's part of the channel as well. Um, when it comes to, like, different videos, like, um... There, there was a time where I was doing tier list videos. Uh, I do have some cooking in the background, uh, including involving with like Godzilla and stuff like that. So I'll try to get those as well out of the way. But I guess the highest priority uh, um, coming up is the 2023 top 10 games because I already have it like recorded and everything back way back in January. But I just got super distracted with everything else. <clears throat> so. Yeah. So that's like the general basis of like what I wanted to get out of my chest for this channel. Um. So, I guess I mean, doesn't need to be said, but I'll just say it. this channel's not going anywhere. I'm not trying to retire or anything like that. I'm just having a hard time to like just keep up with everything, all my interests and passions and hobbies and whatever. It's just harder for me to keep up nowadays because I'm like tired or busy or you know distracted that's essentially it so it's just hard for me to just like pinpoint and focus and and just go with it right it's like I want to do this I want to do that I want to do this also but this is the th uh, you know also a thing I want to do ah you know so I just have a hard time picking the one thing and then do the next thing, and then the next thing, and the next thing. It's like, ah, you know. But I don't know. It'll it'll be sorted at some point. Something will happen. And yeah. Yeah. So, um, anything else I need to like kind of mention? Um, not so much. So, again, I'm on vacation time, so definitely I'll have some time to sort of like. I don't know, maybe realign some things, maybe, but also, um, I gotta, I gotta work on the, the stuff in the house, too, man, that's, that's another thing, you know, um, something oh, uh, behind me will get changed as well at some point, um, I, I, I actually, I, um, I have too many amiibos, so that's why you see some of the amiibos, like, outside the case, you know, uh, but I did it by another thing, so, um, that will be a rearranged at some point. I have to figure out how, but it'll 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 come out like kind of like whoa, you know, kind of um, kind of sick. But we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. So I do have a lot on my plate. We'll pick off stuff one at a time, and we'll uh, go from there. So that's pretty much it for this uh, update. I know this is kind of long. But thank you for sticking around, for those who have been sticking around. And, um, uh, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real for this part. I know it's kind of a sticking in the mud and things like that. But I prefer anyone to stop asking questions about the We Have Fun stuff. You know? I'm, I'm a busy guy. As you can kind of tell with, uh, throughout this video. I have a lot going on. I have a, I have a lot I want to do. And, uh, yeah. So, um, you know, that's essentially answering the question of like, what happened, right? We're all busy. We're adults. That's just simply put, you know, we're, we've grown up, right? Life goes on. Things come to an end, but things begin as well. So, but anyways, um, if anyone has any comments related to this channel, leave them down below. Love to read them. And, um... You know, hopefully this summer heat will uh, go easy, but I have a feeling it's not going to be like that for a short while. So, um, yeah, 
Life is uh, definitely something right now. Especially what's going on around the world. Anyway, thank you very much. Hope to see you all in the next one. Take care. Sean out.